here we go so review god bless my daddy in the key of f and then we're going to move into our instrumental all right so stick around all right okay here we go so we'll do a quick little simple version starting with our g7 one two ready and basic up down strum My daddy B flat Who's over there Said a tiny little boy In his tiny little Seven, B flat. Here we go. For this is the night, mommy turned out the light. Oh, how I wish you were here so I could kiss you goodnight. I hope. So now, as we're going into uh, Mommy, this was last week's lesson. It's part two. All right. So the transition chord there is an F7. All right. So we're going to start from our F7, and we're just reviewing, and then we're going to get into the brand new instrumental. All right. Um, and so we're going to start learning uh, a very nice, simple instrumental for that one. All right. Okay. So here we go. Starting with our F7. One, two, ready, and B flat. Three, ready. Oh, mom, I love you. Yes, I do. B flat. Wait for me, mom. I'll be. Real soon, A7, I never knew how much you meant to me, G7, now that I'm so, C7, many miles across the sea, B flat, here we go. That is just a review of what we worked on the last couple of weeks of God Bless My Daddy and Mommy. 
All right, again, very popular song here in Hawaii. It's probably one of the most requested uh, uh, songs, you know, especially like around Father's Day, which we had just come off of. All right, so here we go. All right, so here, this is where we're going to start uh, going into instrumentals. All right, so if anybody has been looking for a very simple instrumental to do, something that um, that is easy to learn, something to build upon, and you know, we're gonna learn some basic fundamentals here. All right, so, um, hey, aloha, aloha, Sean, what's up, brother? Good to see you guys. Thanks for popping in, everybody. Do me a favor, hit share, send it out all right um and let's get some friends in here that you know might be wanting to play ukulele you know this is such a cool thing that koaloha has made available for us to do you know where else do you get this type of uh, platform to come and hang out with all of you guys hang on let me tune this guy up real quick and then we're gonna get into this instrumental so this song is also a world famous song by the great Mr. John Cruz. He also wrote it. Um, so we're going to do a simple instrumental arrangement to it. All right. We're going to keep it very simple. Um, we're going to go over our chords real quick. Um, and then we're going to talk about how you should hold your ukulele, um, you know, in terms of what is good when you're going to do an instrumental? Like, how, how do you do it? You know, people tell us what to do, um, but they never tell us how to do it. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to talk about simple things we can do to make uh, learning how to play ukulele instrumental-wise, chord-wise, we're going to make it a lot easier. You know, we're going to build a solid foundation that you can build upon. All right? So first things first, making sure you're holding it. All right, making sure your shoulders are relaxed. Uh, this is something that nobody really covers. You need to be relaxed, all right? Um, when your body is tight, your shoulders are tight, it actually hinders your ability to stretch and reach, whether it be on the fret or, you know, simply because of your thumbnail, all right? So you don't want to be tense. You don't want to be tight. You want to be nice and relaxed, all right? So our very first chord, um, as most of us might already know, if you don't know, it's okay. That's why we're here, all right? So you're going to go ahead and make the F chord. So E string, first fret with your index finger, okay? Middle finger here on uh, the G string, second fret, all right? So that is your F chord. Now, the next chord, this one might be new. Not everybody is familiar with this chord, and it's not... Um, something that's widely used unless you're in the key of F uh, or a B flat, which is, you know, it, it, it's optional, yeah? But again, not as frequently used because sometimes we don't need a 7 to turn. Um, so ring finger, you're going to leave it here at your F, okay? That does not change. So index, first fret, E string, uh, second finger, G string, all right, second fret. Now your ring finger, you're going to put it here on the third fret C string. All right. Okay. So this is going to be your F7. Now, as we're doing the instrumental, as you're moving from chord to chord to, uh, to string to string, you're actually going to use this chord. Okay. Now the next chord is a B flat six. All right. So normally here in Hawaii, I just call it a B flat. Um, you know, for us commonly, we just say B flat. All right. And we don't make things too technical, but the proper name for this chord is a B flat six. All right. So you are going to bar the E and the A string. All right. Very good. And then you're going to lay your finger covering both of them at the same time. Now your middle finger, you're going to go here on the C string, second fret. All right, so this right here is your B flat. Now, one thing I want you to learn whenever you're holding a B flat, um, a lot of my students, they have a hard time holding this chord. You know, um, this first finger that's lying down, it's very difficult for them to apply the pressure that's needed. All right, so about two weeks ago when we first started the, the God Bless My Daddy lesson, we talked about that. So we're going to review this, all right? 
So now, you see how there's some space right here, okay, where my finger is. Um, you want that space. That is a good thing, all right? To have that space tells me that you're able to move and modify your hand as needed. So when you're making your B flat, all right, you're going to knuckles down. See how it's flat? It's covering the E and the A string, all right? Now your ring finger is on that C string, okay? There you go. Now let me move it back this way. I still have the space, which means my thumb is firm, but it's not tight. It's not stiff, all right? Now, in order for me to apply the pressure I need in this B flat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my hand forward. You see that? You see how I'm moving my hand forward? All right, so let's look at it from this angle. So when you're looking directly at it, I'm pushing it forward. You see that? All right. So my hand is moving forward. So that's the proper way to do it, especially if it's very hard for you to put the pressure at first. I did the same thing. I had a hard time. I struggled for a long time. All right. So one thing that helped me was making sure it's flat and pushing my hand forward. When I push my hand forward, it causes me to apply pressure on this first uh, finger as I need it. All right. So that is a great thing. OK, so that is a very, very important thing to know to do. Uh, so please make sure you guys are doing that part. All right. So it does take some time, though. All right. Get used to it. Yeah. Get familiar with that. So this space, you do want to see space in between the ukulele neck and your hands. All right. So having that open space in between and being able to see through it tells me that I'm holding it correctly. Okay, very important. All right, so that is your B flat. That is a very important tip right there because a lot of people struggle with that chord B flat six or just a B flat period or any bar chord for that matter. Okay, now the next chord is going to be a C7 and that is here on the first fret, A string. All right, that is your C7, uh, super simple chord, one of my favorites, only one finger, makes me sound like a pro, boom, okay, C7 right there. Now, another chord that is really, really nice sounding, all right, this is probably a chord that I use uh, a lot, actually, practically in everything that I do, I, I want to say that I use this chord. All right, so it's very cool. And um, I actually have been using it for so many years, I just don't even know what it's called. All right, so I actually texted my friend, uh, shout out to my brother Aaron Crowell from Hawaii Music School. Amazing guy, good brother of mine. But he had to tell me what the chord is called. All right, so you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna put it on the third fret. One, two, three, G string, all right? And that's all we're going to do. And that chord is called a C13. All right. Very important. Please remember that. It's such a pretty chord. You can use this chord everywhere there is a C7. So this is a replacement chord. Uh, I've been using it for years. I just didn't know what it was called. And it really conjures up that Hawaiian sound. You know what I mean? Things that make me reminisce of Slaki, Kihualu, things of that nature. It was beautiful to hear. All right. So, can you hear that? That's your C13. It's a really nice hang, hanging kind of a note. Yeah. All right. Hang on. Okay. So go ahead. I'll give you guys a minute uh, or a few seconds and practice those chords. All right. And then let me get over here to the comment section real quick. Miriam, aloha, aloha. All right. Alan, Mississippi in the house. Brother Kainoa, aloha, brother. You did awesome as usual. Aloha, Peggy. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, again, my name is Jonah Davis. And special shout out to the Ohana at Ko Aloha Ukulele 
for making this possible. So do me a favor, guys. If you guys are watching, if you guys are liking it, if you guys are ukulele players, if you guys know somebody who'd like to learn how to play ukulele, please go ahead and share. Share this post. All right. Okay, you see how pretty that strum is? So that right there, that is a C13. Okay, so one of the ways that I use my C13 before we get into the island style instrumental, uh, I want you to get familiar with these chords. So go ahead and take the time to practice, okay? Um, and then I'll play you, uh, I'll show you the way that we use the C13. All right, so in the key of F. So that is how I would use that chord, the C13. All right, so it has a beautiful hanging kind of a sound to it. You know, like it's like that chord is just, it's not there, but it's just kind of just floating. All right. Now, I also put down um, some basic strum patterns that we're gonna use in this instrumental. All right, so I would love for you guys to familiar, familiarize yourself with that. So the letter D, um, it means down, 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 all right? Now, the second strumming pattern, the letter D is down, the U means up, all right? So down, down, up, up, down, up, all right? So that strum, I think, I don't know what it is, but I don't know, they call it the island strum or something like that, you know? Um, so yeah so that's the basic pattern all right so four beats on the down strum one two three four and then the second one is down down up up down up all right so let's try that first one again ready and one two three four second one is down down up up down up all right, so those are gonna be the two strumming patterns that we use in island style. All right, okay, so go ahead and practice that. Let's do that again. All right, let's get more familiar with it. San Antonio. All right, okay, here we go. Pattern one, one, two, ready, and one, two, three, four, all down strums. Pattern number two, ready, and down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, so that second one might be a little bit more tricky. So let's try and do that continuously for maybe about four, four turns, all right? Ready, and down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, okay, so that is pattern number two. All right, guys, how are you guys doing? You guys doing good? Yeah, let me know how you guys are doing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from, where you guys hanging out from. Um, I think it's an awesome thing to see you guys here. All right. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do a quick little break as you practice. All right, so in between our lessons, I do want you guys to take the time to really play it out. Um, get familiar with it. Uh, there's no rushing, okay? We're going to be here every week, every Sunday, all right? Share it, put it on your wall, save it in your messenger, send it out to friends. You can always review the video on your own at a later time. Um, you can go to my website, email me, all right? So just shoot me a message, sign up, figure out what I'm doing, and as well as ask me a question. You guys have any requests? I'd love to do it as well. Okay, Shanghai, Aloha Marina, nice to see you, okay, all right, uh, I hope you guys have been having a great week so far, this past Wednesday, we had Neil Chin, I believe, and 
Now, his schedule is changing. His, uh, he's going to be every other week, I believe. So I don't think he's going to be on next week, Wednesday, but I think he will be on the following Wednesday. So go ahead and check him out, all right? Two to three Hawaii time. Kupaoa. Uh, beautiful music. Li Hao and Kellen, all right? Uh, 3.30 to 4.30 on Thursdays. Uh, Brother Kainoa, he's always killing it on Fridays, all right? So 1 to 2. Um, and Brother Joel, he's amazing too. These two guys, man, these, they're all amazing. All these artists are super amazing, all right? So Brother Joel Guam. And I'm hanging out with you guys on Sunday. So please, you know, save it, hang out, come and cruise with me. Let's have some fun every single week, okay? And special aloha to all of our Koaloha Ohana, sharing their gifts and their talents and their passion and their love with everybody. Yeah? So that's always awesome. So I love that. All right. So I am assuming Delaware. Hi, Agnes. Jam. Okay. Singapore. Aloha. Japan. Aloha. New York City. All right. I want to visit all your places. Okay. So I've given you guys a couple of uh, minutes uh, to practice. All mm -hmm. right. So now let's start getting into the instrumental. All right. Uh, so the first part, um, this is how we're going to start it. Okay. So I'm going to try and simplify it. Yeah. As much as possible. My goal is to be able to get you to play quickly, but also give you foundational uh, application and, 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 and skills that it's going to build a very strong foundation instrumentally over time. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be the very first part. That is the very first part that we're going to learn. So now let's get into the picking section. Now, what I want you to do the first week, we did touch about this. All right. We did talk about this and I showed you guys what is one of the best ways to learn how to hold your ukulele. So you have the bend of your elbow and in front of that on the forearm, forearm side, you're going to place your ukulele, the butt of your ukulele there. Okay. So you see that? Hopefully you can see it, all right? In the front of the line, okay? Now I've made a T. Now when I make that T, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it into your body, all right? So what that does is it creates the perfect hold length, all right? So you're tucked in, your ukulele should not fall. Um, everything should be comfortable. Now, holding our cords, all right, relaxing. Hello, Massachusetts, welcome, welcome, <laughs> all right. Now with our thumb, you're gonna strum down with your thumb, okay? And we're gonna start picking with our thumb. Now one good thing to learn right now is to learn what to do with your other four, all right? And I want you to relax your thumb and brace the bottom of your ukulele, all right? You see how relaxed my hand is? My hand is very relaxed. It's firm, but it's not gripping, it's not tight, okay? It's just firmly resting, all right? So it might take a little while to get used to that. Okay, all right. So, all right, Australia, what's up? Hello, Janine, aloha. Okay, here we go. So you're gonna strum, holding your F chord. All right, strum, ready, and. All right. Now the next one, I want you to hmm, put your ring finger on the E string. Okay, can you guys see that? E string, third fret. All right, so you're gonna strum and pick. So strum F, and then E string, third fret. All right, now you're gonna pick one E, okay, E string, first fret. So strum. All right, let's do it again. One, two, ready, and strum, E, one. Very good. Okay, next one, you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna pick the C string second fret. 
Okay, you got it? One. All right, so starting from your F, ready, go. Strum. All right, so you're starting to hear the, 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 the song, right? On the island, okay? So let's try that. So here we go. One, two, ready, and strum. All right, very good. The next one is you're going to do a B flat, all right? Okay, now that you have your B flat, you're going to do four strums. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, got it? All right, so we're gonna add that together. So all together, just listening. All right, okay, let's do that all together. Starting from your F, one, two, ready, and. Strum, E3, one, two, C, one, two, three, four. All right. Okay. If you guys got that, go ahead and shoot me a thumbs up in the comments. Uh, if you guys have any questions on how to hold, any other tips, any things that you might be experiencing, go ahead and leave it in the comments and let me answer them. All right. So let's do that one more time. Starting from your F. One, two, ready, and strum. One more time, and then we're going to move on, okay? All right, so again, just a review. Strum F, E, 3, 1, 3, E, 1, E, sorry, and then B flat, oh, sorry, second C, yes, and then B flat. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, again, you can always review the video later on, so go ahead and share it, save it to your page. Stick it in your messenger, all of that. All right, okay, here we go. So we're going to add that one, two, ready, and strum three, one, B flat, two, three, four. All right, from there, just leave your B flat. You're going to pluck your E string. All right, you see that? Okay, three beats on the E string while holding that B flat. All right, starting again from F, from the beginning. One, two, ready, and. One, second C, B flat. One, two, three, four, E string. Ready? Very good, okay. So one of the reasons why I always go back to the beginning uh, is because the more you play it, the more familiar and the more easier it'll get for you guys. All right, so repetition is key, remember that, okay? Uh, the best thing in music is to just repeat over and over and over again, all right? Especially in the beginning while you're learning it, okay? It builds good habits, plus it creates uh, muscle memory and you memorize the melody. Okay, here we go. So let's try it. All right, one, two, F, go. Strum, E, C string, B flat, one, two, three, four, E string, one, two, three. Next one, you're gonna pluck the C string once. All right. So, going back from the E string, one, two, three, C string, all right? Now, the next one, you're going to open C, all right? So, let's try that again from the F. Here we go. One, two, ready, and strum, E3, one, E, okay, that's two C, B flat. One, two, three, four, E string. One, two, three, C string. Open. 
All right, very good. Okay, go ahead. Uh, practice on your own. I'll give you guys a minute. All right. And let me go ahead and check out the comment section. Let me see what's going on over here. All right. Hope you guys are doing great. Sounds good. Do me a favor. Go ahead and share. All right. Um, so let people know. People that want to learn how to play ukulele so that they can jump in. All right. And and learn some, some fun stuff with us. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Let's go back to it. All right. We're going to strum from your F chord. Okay. One. Two, ready, and E, C, one, two, three, four, E string, one, two, three, C, open. Very good. Now the next part, we're going to go back to F. You're going to do the second strum pattern, the down, down, up, up, down, up. You're going to do that two times. All right. Okay. Here we go. So we just came from the B flat. Very good. The next section, we're going to do F. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. All right. Do that twice. So this is what we've learned so far. Practice it and then play along, uh, but we're definitely going to do more play alongs together. Okay, here we go. F. Very good. Okay, let's do it again. One, two, ready, and... Play it slowly. One, two, three. Open. F. Down, down, up, up, down, up. All right. Very good. Okay, I'll give you guys a minute. Go ahead and practice that. All right. Um, if you guys are doing okay, if you guys got any questions, let me know. Let me go ahead and check the comments, guys. Let me see what you guys got going on. All right. Oh, right on. You got your 25th anniversary. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a beautiful ukulele. Yeah. All right. Uh, if you guys have not seen, today I am playing the Koaloha Tenor. Uh, 25th anniversary model. All right. So this year, uh, Koaloha is celebrating 25 years. All right. Of building and making amazing ukuleles. Um, and, you know, their ukuleles are all over the world, played by all sorts of people who loves it. And we love it. We love that they're playing it and we love that they're making it. <laughs> so special aloha to our koaloha ohana. Yeah. So super amazing. Uh, Bonnie, the, the last note before the F was an open C string one time. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Very good. Sila Washington. What's up? Aloha, aloha. That's super awesome. Good to see you guys. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. Um, go ahead and invite people, you know, especially if you guys want to learn uh, ukulele, Hawaiian style ukulele. Some basic instrumentals, things of that nature, you know, let's have some fun with it. Yeah, the videos will be posted up, and so you can always refer to them whenever you need it, you know. Um, and then you can go back and re-watch the lesson, all right. It's always a really good thing to repetitiously watch it over and over until you familiarize yourself with it, okay. Um, so, yeah. 
So thank you guys for hanging out, okay? Um, if you guys have any questions, any questions at all, go ahead, go to my website, visit my website. If you guys want to figure out what's going on with me and what I'm doing next, um, visit jonadavis.com. Shoot me a message, uh, follow, like. Um, you can see me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, same, um, Jones and you, J-O-N-E-Z-N-U. All right, so check me out. Come follow me. Hang out with me every so often. I like to do some fun stuff. Um, also, you know, you can also visit my Patreon, my Patreon page, where I do Hawaiian-style ukulele tutorials. Uh, I teach a lot of Hawaiian music there. Um, so it's actually pretty brand new that I've started that one. Um, you know, some other people, one of the questions was, do I take private lessons? Yes, I do. Go to my website, shoot me a message, and then we can work out a schedule. Um, so those types of things, I do all of that stuff. As well as I teach full-time at Namaka, Opu'u Aloha, here on the island of Oahu. It's a, it's a wonderful studio, uh, studio, and, you know, I have amazing students. It's a beautiful family atmosphere there. So if you guys want to sit in one of my live classes, you can definitely check me out, and you're welcome to do so at Namaka Opu'u Aloha. All right. Okay, let's get back into the party. So thank you guys again. All right. So yeah, go ahead, like it and share it and share it with your peeps. Okay, we're working on island style. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're working on the picking section. We're, there's only two parts in this whole song. All right. Okay, so let's do it together. Let's try it. Um, let's review. All right, strum. E3, E1, C2, B flat, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then uh, E string three times, 1, 2, 3, C string, 2nd fret, open. There you go. And then F chord, strumming pattern number two. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, that's where we left off. Okay, let's do it two more times, just for practice sake. Remember, your shoulders should be relaxed. Hands are loose, all right? If it gets frustrating, you should always put it down, set it aside, all right? And come back to it, okay? All right, here we go. One, two, ready, and. Very good, one more time. Here we go. One, two, ready, and. Okay, so we're caught up to speed. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments in the comment section. Um, now the next section, you're gonna strum your F again. And then you're gonna pluck your A string open. One, two, three, four. All right, okay. So again, I'm picking an open A. So strum F, open A, all right, okay, this is the new section, here we go, one, two, ready, and strum, one, two, three, four, all right, next one, you're going to do three, third fret, E string again. And then one. All right. All right. Very good. Hi, Jen. Rita. Aloha. All right. Erwin, what's up? Queensland, Australia. All right. Love it. Okay. So this new section F. One, two, three. Oh. 
take that back. It's just three open A. One, two, three. Okay, three E. One E. All right, here we go. Yeah, okay. Next one, you are going to go back to the E string, third fret. One, two, three. One, open. And back down. Okay, so one, two, three. One E, open E string. One. All right. Okay. So let's try that again. Starting, starting from your F. One, two, three. E string. One. Okay. Going back to the E string, third fret. One, two, three. One. Open. One. All right. Okay, so let's do that one more time. Miriam, aloha, aloha. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's try that one part. Okay, strum. One, two, three. Three E. One E. Okay, three E again. One, two, three. One. Open. One. Yeah? Okay, so that is pretty much the whole uh, chorus section. All right, so I'm going to play it from the very beginning, um, and then we're going to do it together. All right, so in the meantime, while I'm playing the melody, go ahead and practice it. If you guys have any questions, please pop it up in the comment section. Or if, uh, you know, if at any point in time you have any questions while we're offline, go to my website, jonadavis.com. Shoot me a message, okay? All right, here we go. So I'm going to play it. You guys practice as well. Play along if you want or focus on the part that you need to practice on. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, and... So I played that whole chorus section twice through. All right. Aloha ya sushi. You're very welcome. All right. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to try and do it together. Okay. If you guys have any questions, again, go ahead, pop it into the comments. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, any feedback? Uh, what would you guys want to learn? Or what is it in ukulele that you possibly need the most help on? All right, that I can I can try and help you guys out with. All right, tips and tricks or anything like that. Okay, so please go ahead and and let me know. All right, okay, here we go. So let's do it together. All right, starting in the F chord. Um, let's review the part that we just learned though. All right, okay, here we go. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, E. All right, going back to 3E, 1E, open, 1. All right, now you're going to strum F. All right, okay, so that's the whole chorus, all right? Let's try it together. Let's try it. 1, 2, ready, and... Again, 
starting from the F. have just learned the whole chorus of Island Style. All right, if you guys just tuned in, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Jonah Davis. Thanks for coming in and hanging out with us. A uh, special shout out to the Koaloha Ohana. Uh, mahalo for allowing us to um, come out and hang out on Sundays. And we get to talk ukulele, play some ukulele. I get to meet you guys and hang out with you guys for like an hour. You know, so that's always super fun. So mahalo you guys for coming. Um, please check my website out, um, jonadavis.com. Um, I just launched my Patreon for Hawaiian music lessons, Hawaiian style ukulele. I do get into more detailed um instructional side in terms of tips you know fundamentals so please go ahead and check it out um, um plus i made it you know very very much available to everybody um i do also teach at namaka opu vai aloha uh here in in oahu in wai wai uh wai Pio. so if you guys are in the area you guys want to jump in go ahead and shoot me a message all right but thank you guys for coming and hanging out um also Today, I am playing Ko'aloha's 25th anniversary tenor, all right? So this beauty is a limited edition. So, you know, if you guys want one, if you guys have any questions about Ko'aloha ukuleles, shoot me a message, all right? If I can uh, uh, answer you guys' questions or even a list of vendors closer to you guys, just let me know, all right? Um, that's one of the questions people have been asking. Um, so, yeah, go ahead, check it out. Okay, so... Let's get back into it. Um, Island Style by Mr. John Cruz. All right. Very popular song. Wonderful song. International song. Everybody loves it. So do I. Okay. In the key of F. All right. So if you guys are just tuning in, please go ahead and share the video. You can go back and watch it. When the live is done, you can learn and catch up with us. And I will be here every Sunday. All right. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, and F. Four. F strum. Okay. time four times F that's working out let me know how it's going guys like, give me a thumbs up if you guys are good uh shoot any questions out to me and then i got you all right okay so let's do this real quick we'll just briefly summarize and review all right everything that we just went through today all right so we are working on island style our chords are f f7 which we will delve into next week b flat six all right, and then C7. Now, the other chord, which I will show you next week as well, is the C13. All right, again, uh, special shout out to my brother Aaron of Hawaii Music School for telling me the name because I've been using this chord for years and I didn't know what it was called. And I texted him, I was like, Para, what is the name of this chord? And he was like, oh, it's on C13. I, I felt like I should have knew that, but I didn't. <laughs> All right, so that's that's a C13, okay? Um, 
right here, uh, two strumming patterns, all right? So mainly with the B flat, we're going to do the four beats. One, two, three, four, all right? Now, for the second strumming pattern, we usually do that with the F chord, okay? So there's patterns here, okay? All music has patterns, so I want you guys to know that, all right? Remember that. Music is patterns, all right? There's nothing that is new under the sun when it comes to music. It's all been done before, okay? All right, so now the F chord, the strumming, down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, so let's try that together. We'll do it slowly. One, two, ready, and down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, one more time, practicing that strum, ready, and down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, and apparently the name of that strum is the island strum. All right, it, it, has, a, it has a name and everything. I didn't know that. Um, when I was growing up, it's follow your teacher, you know, just there weren't any, you know, we knew patterns or anything like that, but we never knew that there's these things had names. So it's a super cool thing. All right. So island strum. Okay. All right. Now for our picking. All right. So if you guys just joined, please share the video, save it to your page and re 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 learn it on your own time and come back next Sunday. And then we'll learn the second part together. All right. Let people know, hit the share button, tell everybody and come and hang out free ukulele lessons, Hawaiian style ukulele. Very hard to find, so it's fun. Besides, I want to hang out with you guys. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, and. One, two, three, four. Open. F chord. Pattern two. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Very good. Strum. Strum. All right. Okay, one more time. B flat. Oh, can I see my strings? All right, strum. So that is it for today, all right? That is the island style. This is the chorus part. This is part one, all right? Next week, we will do part two, and then we will finish off the song. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, share the video, save it to your wall, save it and share it with your friends and everybody and practice it, and then let's do a jam. I will be back again next week at 2 o'clock Hawaii Standard Time uh, every Sunday. Um, yeah, and then let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have any requests, any any comments. Uh, visit my website, uh, jonadavis.com, or visit my Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash jonadavis. Special mahalo again to my koaloha ohana. Hope you guys have an amazing week, guys. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Um, yeah, so I will see you again soon. Okay, guys. Aloha. Thank you, guys.